Hello everyone, my name is Matt Morehouse. I work at Google on the uh, sanitizers team and I'm here today to talk to you about one of our new sanitizers, Gwip ASAN. So Gwip ASAN is a recursive acronym. It stands for Gwip ASAN will provide allocation sanity. Uh, or more concretely, it's a tool that finds heat buffer overflows in use after freeze. So GWP ASAN is based on the classic electric fence Malik debugger. And the way electric fence works is it puts guard pages after each heap allocation. So if you then overflow that allocation, you'll touch the guard page and trigger a SAG fault immediately. Uh, in this way, electric fence detects the bug at the point it happens rather than allowing a silent memory corruption that you then have to debug later. Electric fence is also able to find use after freeze and it does so by marking the page that a freed allocation lives on as unreadable and unwritable. So if you try to access that memory again, you also trigger a SAG fault. Now this finds bugs and it does so without any compile time instrumentation. Uh, and so that means you can turn electric fence on and off at runtime. However, it's quite expensive because each allocation now requires a full page of memory uh, in order to get overflow detection as well as most calls to malloc and free uh, now require a system call. And so a malloc or free that used to take a couple dozen nanoseconds will now take a few microseconds instead. So GWP ASAN introduces the idea of sampling to electric fence. And the idea is instead of guarding every allocation, we discard a tiny fraction of them and then rely on uh, large numbers and having this deployed widely to find the bug. So if you follow the diagram here, you'll see that uh, call to malloc has a quick should sample check and 99.999% of the time, we just do a normal malloc. Uh, only a tiny fraction of the time do we do a guarded one. By tuning this sampling rate, we can get the overhead as low as we want it to be. Now GWP ASAN has been deployed at Google for some time now with pretty good results. It's on by default in both Chrome and all Google server-side applications. So if you're Googling something today or using Gmail or if you have Chrome on your Mac or Windows machine, you're already using GWP ASAN. In the past 10 months, GWP ASAN's found over 50 bugs in Chrome and over 400 bugs in Google production code. These bugs have mostly evaded all forms of testing uh, whether it's fuzz testing, unit testing, using sanitizers, these bugs were only found in production running with GWP ASAN. And you'll see by the chart here that the vast majority of bugs GWP ASAN has found are use after freeze, but it also finds buffer overflows and underflows, and also a small amount of double freeze. If you'd like to use GWP ASAN yourself, it's available today in Compiler RT and it's integrated by default with Scudo. Uh, so if you build with F sanitize equals Scudo, you'll get GWP ASAN. It's also pretty easy to integrate GWP ASAN with your own custom allocator. Here's a simple example. We have a small program with the use after free in it. Uh, if we compile the program with Scudo and run it, the bug is not caught. But if we then enable GWP ASAN by, to, by setting the sampling rate, and run the program several times, GWP ASAN will find it and print out stack traces uh, for the allocation point, the free point, as well as the use after free point. If you'd like to integrate GWP ASAN with your own allocator, it's very simple. Uh, you just need to insert a few lines of code in during your malloc initialization to initialize GWP ASAN, and then also insert a quick sample check on the malloc path if it returns true then you do a guarded allocation, otherwise you do a normal malloc. And as well on the free path, you do a quick check to see if it's a guarded allocation. If it is, you do the guarded deallocation step. That's it, thank you for coming to my talk and I'd like to thank Mitch Phillips for integrating this code into Compiler RT, as well as Vlad Circlevich for doing the Chrome integration. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to talk after the lightning talks.